Welcome to the making of Mask of the Red Death Mask. Here is what you will need. To seal the foam to help with glue sticking and stretching of the mask and shaping, heat the foam with a heat gun. This is really helpful for creating a good shape and having no strange edges. I simply bend the foam with my hands to make it the correct shape for my face. Here I have a small amount of water which I am adding a small amount of Mod Podge for a thin dilution. This will be used to dip the foam in later. I like using this method, it helps the foam clay adhere better to the mask and also creates a firmer finished result. When I have painted some Mod Podge and wet, wetted my hands, I press the foam over the mask structure. The foam can be very sticky and difficult to work with, so the more you regularly wet your hands, the better. I am pushing the foam through the shapes I've created earlier. This foam was really quite sticky when I was doing this, so it kept sticking to everything and my hands. I used a blunt scalpel to shape out the edges and regularly wet my hands with both water and the Mod Podge diluted solution. I regularly wetted the foam so it did not become sticky and difficult to work with. I pushed out edges and indents so the mask had smooth holes that were easy to see through. This took a fair amount of time. I used the edge of my nail to sculpt smooth edges and smoothed out the foam with the Mod Podge solution. It's difficult to imagine quite how sticky this can be. using my nail to carve in details and little curls into the foam for texture and shape. I'm carving in some little curls. It is also useful to wet your sculpting tool so the foam does not stick to it. The teeth were rather difficult to do as they had a very strange and uneven shape. I pushed the back of the scalpel into the teeth to carve a more clear shape. I also like to dip the foam clay into water as well to make sure it's thoroughly wet so it's not too sticky.
You can do so much detail with this foam clay. I make sure to mix the clay with lots of Mod Podge solution as I have found it can get very brittle and crack without that. Really gives it a nice density and sheen at the end. I found the easiest way to do this part was to simply push a large amount of the clay over the teeth and then cut out the excess shape. Although if you are doing teeth in a mask, I would go from bottom to top instead of top to bottom to reduce fraying and stretching. Had to really speed this up as this took me about 40 minutes.
At this point, the mask itself is getting really quite difficult to hold as it is so sticky and do be careful not to push other parts down while you are sculpting. On other costume pieces, this is much easier, but a mask like this, as you can see, I have kind of shaped the eyes slightly differently to how I want. I do smooth those out later, but just watch out so you don't destroy your design. It was getting very tricky towards the end to keep all the details smooth where it needed to be. So I ended up laying it down to smooth out some of the final touches. Laying the mask down on a curved surface is good to maintain shape. And then I cover the mask in a layer of Mod Podge for smooth and shine. Looking great so far. And here's the mask painted with a mix of acrylic paint and flexi paint. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.